but you are a group of very powerful women who will shape our country in the future. Hi, and welcome to the Entrepreneur's Edge. I'm your host, Janice McLean Deloach. I decided after a career in show business that I wanted to be in business for myself, but you had to have a great idea, and I got one. There is no longer one standard of beauty. It's time that there was a line for women of every color. So you have to have a specialized line or niche that makes your company sustain in this industry? I think I do believe that you do have to have that. You have to have some sort of point of view that women can really re relate to. Today we're here in Washington, D.C. on Capitol Hill in the Dirksen Senate Building. We're talking about WOW Facts. It's women on diversity and uh, diversity issues. Tell us what brings you to WOW Facts today. Well, I, I, I believe that it's important for America's workforce to reflect our American society. I'm here again to support uh, the women uh, really making a difference. We are there daily and I think it's very important that we step out and have a voice. In my role uh, I find the data from this uh, book that they put out annually to be invaluable in sort of furthering the cause uh, that I have been charged with at Merrill Lynch which is to build new business for Merrill within diverse and multicultural communities. Chef Marcus Miles with Chefs to Go. So everything we have here can be purchased at the supermarket. Bon appétit. You're in hip hop and you're in entrepreneurship. So tell us how that's matured into a business for you. All of us as MCs, DJs, producers, we're walking businesses. So it's important that once mainstream may latch on to other folks and say that you're not as important or as relevant or uh, you can't make us as much money as we can make with the next, that you can hold hold on for yourself and that you can begin businesses for yourself. Jeff, tell us what brings you to the summit today. The Urban League influencers, I'm here to support what young people and young adults, young professionals are doing all over the country to try to move a social and political agenda to make change. What do you plan for strategies in the future for Rock the Vote? Well, in the 2004 elections, we had a surround sound strategy. It was about radio, it was about television, it was about grassroots, it was about celebrities, and it absolutely made a difference. Young people turned out in higher numbers than they had in many years, and actually the surge in turnout that we saw from young African Americans and young Latinos is what drove the increased turnout. They didn't get the credit from the media or from the candidates, but now that the numbers are coming out, the real facts are coming out, it absolutely is the case that this generation made a difference on Election Day. I'm going to teach you the beginning of dining etiquette, and we're going to learn how to set a four-course table. Uh, set it on the right. Mm -hmm. Big folks with a fork set on the left. Mm -hmm. So you have the confidence of knowing what to do when you sit down at that table. Hello, my name is Michael, and I'm here with Tim Train from Big Cubes Games. How long does it take to send out a regular game per average? It takes about, well, it's different depending on the kind of game that you want to make. It takes us about two and three quarters or about three years to make a game. We think that the online community is really important to support, and our games in particular, I think, are most fun when played head-to-head -head against a friend of yours. Thanks, Tim, for talking to me today. Sure. And stand by for more.